Right, it's been a while, hasn't it? Sorry, mate, what are you? Muddy teal. Oh, I'm just uh, woofing into a bit of a... Uh, spinach and ricotta. Spinach and ricotta, lovely. And we're into our coffees yep. at mate, mate. Mozzie's or all around me. Oh, look at that. Oh, did look did at he that. punch me? Uh, quarter like quarter, quarter to five, you did. Oh, you hit me right Jeez. in the face. That's it, assault. That blow over right. I might take that home and clone you. <laughs> hey? You wouldn't get much out of it. Hey? It'd be pretty bad. Clone you. Um, uh, it's been a while. Right. And we're, we're, yeah. we're here at Redcliffe. Yep, Redcliffe, you can see it behind us. Yes, I've come down here the day. Been a beautiful day. Oh, Mate, the weather has literally. been fantastic. Look, fantastic. I'll, I'll turn the camera around. Which way am I going to go? I'll go this way. Have a look at that. I mean, that's what we've been having to deal with all day today. Oh, it's been terrible. It has been absolutely terrible. Yep. Um, we mean that sarcastically. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's, no, been, it's, it's been, been pure. Great day. So, so we've been out with a new fellow, Dylan. We've had Sam, we've had yep. us two. Yep. Sam's been on before. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, great day. So, so it's all happening. But it's been about two months since we've filmed anything together. Yes, there's been rain, bits and pieces. Public uh, holidays. Public holidays. And they always fall on a Monday. On a Monday, so yep. and that's when we film. So yes, it's all been it's all been a little on the full on side of things. So it's been a while. So yep. anywho, <clears throat> we'll get back into it now. We've got um yep. I've got uh Lakeland's done. Yep. So I I just me, myself, me, myself and Irene. Yep. And then this one, uh we'll have Mulaney coming up. Yep. And then We'll try to get into Gainsborough. Yep. And bring somebody new, and then we're potentially going to Bundy. Somebody new, like someone we just cloned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that, but that's what we want. We we want new people. The new Alan. So does that mean if you clone somebody, does it, say if, if I was to die from what, let's say, natural causes, mm -hmm. at the age of ninety-one? Yeah. Does that mean my clone, clone would die at eighty-one if all things if it didn't have accidents or anything like that? No, yeah, probably. Maybe. I suppose so. You'd have the same diseases and everything else, or the same inherited diseases, you would think. Prob hey, well, probability of diseases. No, I know. I suppose it's all of them. You know, if you spend Environment. extra time in the sun, you might get... If you brush your teeth too much, a, you become dumb. Yeah, too many hot dogs. <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah. I, yeah, so I suppose there's yeah. lots of other things. So a lot of it's environment. Yeah. So, um, so we'll put out... Um, after this, will be Lakelands. So, you know, when this is, comes out, Lakelands will, will come, just me. Yep. And then we'll have Redcliffe, and then we'll have more. But like I said, we're yep. heading to Bundy. We're trying to organise that for June. Yep. Um, that was the last time we went to try to go to Bundy was when the gear yeah, got yeah. stolen. And I might look after it this time. <laughs> look, I, that was I'll pick terrible. it up early and put it in the car. It was my fault. Yeah. It's so bad. I uh, did, just did not expect anything. Well, pretty well threw us out. Well, it was a waste of time going up there with no camera. That's correct. So yeah, we, we'd yeah. organised it on the Monday morning, come to pick it up, 5 o'clock in the morning. Just before 5 o'clock, I started moving shit out the front, and within 10 minutes, 7 minutes, I come out, and the camera gear's gone. Well, I turned up. You turned up, like, just after that, and I yeah. thought, oh, Richo the dog, he's been in, he's, he saw no one around, he stole it, and he'd come back yeah. around. Yeah, because he's gone, did you put that... Huh? I, I said, you being I, I, said I said, what camera? Yeah, well, <laughs> and, <laughs> and so... And he's gone, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, mate, I didn't see... I said, there was nothing out here when I pulled up. And so, he went, oh, <laughs> headless. Yeah, and I knew it, I thought, because Richo's a pretty... He's a bit of a joker, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but... But I was like, yeah, no, I could tell he was being serious. So... Nah, God, no, no I good. honestly had no idea. When, when you said, was there stuff out here, it was like... Mate, I'm telling you, there was yeah. nothing here when I pulled up. No good. And I didn't see anyone walk down the road or nothing like that. I don't know, it's, they could have gone a different way. But oh, look, they, we end up getting some stuff back, got an iPad back, but they they locked it somehow and they yep. dragged it in my bank accounts. Anyway, it, it is what it is, but we've got new gear and da da da, yeah. da so it's, uh, that's oh, all good. opportunists, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it, it literally was in that second. Yeah. Or in that couple of minutes. So yep. it is what it is. But anyway, we've, when that happens, so middle of June-ish, are you right for that? Yeah, yeah, it should I'll be. I'll fling an email. Yeah. Could, anyway, because we've got to get accommodation. Yep, it's yep. either that or we take the camper van. Oh, we'll do it. Sort it out the next couple of nights. Well, I'm pretty sure those those dates are all right. Okay. But, so then we're going to organise Bundy, Bagara, Coral Cove, and then... Unless it's in, like, birthday or something. And, you know, when's the school me, holidays? Me Mrs. Ridge might have a special night. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when the school holidays are. Is it June, July? I just know. Kids just, just stay and play video games. <laughs> yeah, fair. So, I mean, would they know that you were there? Pro that's also true. Except for when they yell out and say, can you make me some food? Oh, 
do, do I'm you know, just like, you're old enough to sort of shit down out. to um, Melbourne for Taylor Mays. Yeah. Do you know, it was like three days in, the kids went, where's Dad? <laughs> Carol went, she goes, he told you he's down yeah. in Melbourne. Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. It's like, no. He said a ray to you and everything. See yeah. you, kids. <laughs> got no idea. No. Nah. They don't care. But anyway, that uh, is what it is. Well, phoned them from Melbourne. Did you? Oh, yeah, you, you, you would have. G'day, kids. How you going? No worries. I don't know. They must have thought I was... I, I tell you know. what, these down, mozzies down, aren't friendly. Down the road or something. And and wouldn't that be a nice trip down to Melbourne? Yeah, Melbourne's a good spot. Oh, do you know what? There's plenty of nice spots in Australia, like uh, I said. Chris, Chris just messaged us. He goes, you're all good, lad. Yeah, mate, magic. You are around? No. Just wanted to check you're all good. Magic day for zero wind. Yep. It was perfect. Yeah, no, no, great day. Great so, day. The course is in great nick. Greens are really good. Fairways are nice. Yes. Um, great spot. Look, so, Redcliffe is... I've only been a member of one team in Redcliffe. Redcliffe is mint. Flat golf course, apart from yep. a couple in the middle section there, but overall a relatively flat golf course. Um, but look at it. Yep. So... It's What's pure. Bundy? Three hours away. About three and a oh, half. Yeah. Cool. So we'll need a playlist. So if anyone would like to nominate a song, I'll nominate one oh. because that you have to have on your on your road trip. Like what? Seal, kiss from a rose. From remember? <laughs> no. National Lampoon's. Oh jeez, that is old. That's not, getting old. Not the Chevy Chase one. No, the new one. it'll be the newer one. Yeah. So because I was going to say, Kiss by a Rose was not around back in the eighties. No. So there, there you go. Okay. We'll, we'll have to whack that on there. We'll get a playlist going on. Then Willie Nelson on the road again. <laughs> so yeah, no, no, but <laughs> it's not that long of a drive. And so we'll we'll probably do well, long enough that if you play the same song over and oh, over, you'll go crazy. You go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because we were going to go down south, but it's like it's it's already going to be cold enough it's as it is. It's starting to cool off a little bit, but the days are nice. The days are lovely. So, so up around here, the days are still nice. You know, get a little bit cool early in the morning and late at night. But really, you got the Bundy, the weather will be like this. Look, if the weather is like this, it's prime. Yeah, Dil it is somewhere Dylan where actually we... just went. Dylan actually just went up to Bagara. Yeah. And played. Said it was raining the whole time. Yep. Yep. So, it, but it is what it is. And when, and where the, what can you do? No, well, nothing. You can't do much about it. So we'll probably stay it, either up at Coral Cove or Bagara, somewhere there. Mm. Um, probably do Bundy on the way up. So we'll get up there for the middle of the day, do the yep. drone, and then play. Uh, and then go stay, and then play one of the courses, and then come back. Sounds like a bloody oh. ripper. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. An itinerary. Yep. Itin itinerary? Yep. Well, itinerary. Anyone up around that way? Give us a yell. Yeah. Good call. Just come out for a slap. Yeah, if you want to come out, hit, say hello. Yep, correct. Boss around for dinner. Yeah, we'll do you want dinner? We'll probably be starving by yeah. now. <laughs> Channel didn't make enough money to bloody pay yeah, for anything. Thanks so. to the price of petrol, we might only get halfway there. We may only make it to Gympie. This petrol's pretty cheap. Comment below, what's petrol worth in your joint? Mm. It's been between... Two dollars and two dollars twenty. It's been between a dollar ninety and yeah, two dollars twenty odd. Yeah. I mean, I I, I get a, a, a ninety eight, so yeah, pretty car, much yeah. electric car. Yeah. Oh, mate. No. Yes. Because I want to yeah. save the planet. Because that's the only way to do it. Because there's no other emissions from well, an electric you know, in the car. Next couple of years. It's just not. All guitars are going electric. Uh, are they? Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to save the planet. To save on power, yeah. 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 So, yeah, all those acoustic guitars. So, so, so comment, up the comment your dollars. Yeah. <laughs> there you go comment on. your dollars and comment if you've got an electric car and what you think about them and why you'll have them or why you won't. There you go. We've just got questions everywhere. Uh, before we forget, anyway, we, we've got to go in and, 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 and get into Dylan and stuff like that. <laughs> and sit, and sit get down. Into Dylan. Yeah, get into Dylan. Yeah, and have a, have a drink. Um, because it was their birthdays yesterday. Mm. So, happy yeah. birthday... Happy birthday, Jeez. Dylan and Sam. Dylan and Sam, yep. Um, also, speaking of Dylan, Dylan won the Callaway caps and the sleeve of balls. Yes. So I'll contact you, Dylan, and yep. get your address, and we'll, and we'll get those details off to you. Cool. So, sorry, I, I, I don't have the, uh, the, the, the draw bit, but Dylan won it. It's in the car. Number five. Whatever we, one Dylan wants. Yep. So Dylan's one. We'll call a contact to Dylan, and we'll and we'll go from there. Mm. Yep. Um, anything else exciting? Uh, not too much. PGA is sort of around the corner. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's always plenty of golf on it. Can Scheffler win? Kicking around again. Oh, 
Yeah. Can he have the Grand Slam? Who knows? Who knows? How good's a good coffee? Do I know, it's all just... kicking around. Maybe Tiger might come back, eh? Tiger will. Yeah. Um, did you, did you, now, you So, Gary Player was very critical. He said uh, Tiger Woods didn't achieve his full potential. He felt that he would have won a lot more tournaments if he didn't bother changing teachers after... Uh, Butch. Uh, no. Hank. After he uh, won the US Open by some record, by 14 shots or something, and then he went to Foley. Yeah, after Hank. So he went Butch, Hank, and then Foley. Yeah, but he reckons that really did. Too many swing changes. 2013, he won five times. Like, it, no, okay, maybe. You could always say that. Interesting. You could certainly say that he, he maybe didn't. I don't didn't. know if I would have tinkered too much with it. It was pretty good. I agree. I mean, it's like a car. If the car's running okay, I know. just... Just, let, just leave, it, leave it until later. Like, leave it until it shits itself. And at one stage, he was a Ferrari. Yes. Well, when he wasn't an old Kingswood. No, that's true. <laughs> was he? No. But again, that, it, that's an interesting yeah. comment. I mean, people can say that easily in hindsight, right? Yeah, yeah. I, look, I suppose it takes some sort of merit from a bloke that had been around for a long time and did win quite a number of tournaments himself. Yeah. So it didn't come from, like... No, no, no. Some of yeah, not just from anything. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, um, interesting. I, I, I think I might have. I think it was me. I, I probably would have just kept working on my short game and punting and it's make a hard sure one, that isn't it? I was mentally okay. But it's definitely a hard one because you look at it and you go, "He's one of the greats." Top. Yeah. You know, and, top and two, don't, top don't three, get me wrong, top two. When you read the whole article, one. Gary Player was was interesting. He goes, "I know you find it hard to believe, considering like he was." Won 15 majors. Yeah. Like it's not like he won four and should have won more. Yeah. But he was pretty adamant that. Oh, you can always say that because if you have a look when he changed um, coaches, there was like uh, 18, 18 months, two years between mm. the, the trots he went on again. So when a big trots mm. changed and it took a, yeah. a couple of years and then he went on another couple yeah. of trots. And I, I get. And you know how hard it is to change the swing. Yeah. I mean, it, like. You've changed yours pretty good. Yeah, it got longer. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Like yeah. it, it, any changes. I mean, I suppose you can change, you know, the way you sort of approach golf and bits and pieces and yeah. stuff like that. But you know, to truly change a golf swing, difficult. Very difficult. Well, to fully overhaul. I think Faldo said that when he changed his swing, I don't mm. remember what year it was, but anyway, yep. he said he was hitting a thousand balls a day, and it took him a year and a half for it to feel comfortable. Yep. So when he used so to that's turn four. up. For, for for practice, right? He used to have to hit his irons off a tee because his hands hurt so much from hitting so many golf balls. Baldo. Yep. I was saying his hands were bleeding, so he'd turn up. He was soft though. He was turning up, and and when he'd practice before the tournament, he's hitting all his irons off a tee because <laughs> he said I, I had to give my hands a rest because I'd been hitting so many golf balls. Interesting. Like so, so it's not easy. No, 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 like that, yeah, that's why some and, people... And it's awfully hard to take something that was working so well and go, I think I can make it better. Yeah, it's, I, I it's think, difficult. I think Gary's big thing was, like, why would you take advice from these blokes that... That aren't anyone. <laughs> that's terrible. No, I, I get it, but it's like... But I think that's what he was looking at. He was looking at it and going, you're taking advice from these blokes. But I, that, I wonder... Because, what did he say? That couldn't shoot, could, couldn't shoot under ninety at Augusta yeah. on any given day, and you're taking. It's hard, right? Because they're a business too. So they're like, Tiger comes. Let's say, let's say I'm Butch and you're Hank. Tiger comes from Butch yeah. to you and goes. Which one am I? You're Hank. I'm Hank. Right. And, and goes, hey Hank. Hey, hey Hank. Uh, what do you think? And then of course Hank goes, I reckon you could change this. I reckon you could change that. And then yeah, well, Tiger goes, and then of course, at... then there's a brainworm in Tiger's head going, so it's not perfect, I can do this and this and this? Well, I suppose because they're always looking for that thing, aren't That's they? what I mean. As, as where, you know, if you come to me, and I'm Hank and you're Alan, <laughs> right, and you go, g'day, mate, what can you do for me? I go, you're perfect. Yeah. You're right. You go, oh, well, I don't need you. Well, what? yeah, that's right. What I'm saying is, is Hank is saying right. that, no, look, I like what Butch is doing, but I think we can work on this. He's thinking about money too. 
Do you know what I mean? Tiger's thinking about money yeah. to win, but then Hank's going, I think I could have someone for a couple of years, make a lot, and then it's not even just that. It's the, it's the, it's the customers and the clients you get after that. Oh, without a doubt, because I was Tiger's coach. Tiger's coach. Yeah, yeah. Made the same thing if I jumped on his bag for three tournament wins, right? You're still, oh, he's been on the bag for Tiger. I mean, you and so, Steve Williams have never been seen in the same room together. So. so so it would give you that leeway, wouldn't it, where if you were looking for, to caddy for someone else, they'd go, well... Well, you've done geez, that. Geez, he was on Tiger's bag for, bag for three of those majors that he won. Uh, maybe he's OK. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I get it. Yeah, I think a Until lot of it's I business. Go, I need the putter and I hand him a driver <laughs> and I go. You sure? This is the right dude. <laughs> Steve Williams, Steve Richards, the same diff. But yeah, I, I think it is interesting from Gary because again, I don't think he's wrong, mm. but you can't prove he's right. No, no. And so I suppose that, 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 yeah, that's where you sit in the fence and go, who knows? It's interesting through that period with like working. So, so what I'm saying is that, and, and I think Gary was trying to say, this, Gary Blake was trying to say the same was that in those couple of years, while of, he's spending all that time trying to change this swing and make a difference. That time in the past would have been spent purely practicing. Yeah. And honing that skill you already had. Yeah. So instead of spending four hours trying to like develop this new yeah, swing, new feel. right? I'm spending four hours, an hour on my driver, an hour on my irons, an hour on my putter. I think he feels that that would have been better to have gone that way. I wonder how many and swing I, changes Gary made. See that that would be interesting. Think, I don't know if he he made necessarily a lot. Maybe so not. I think he, coaches. His, his indication was because got to remember a lot of those boys pretty well stuck with stuck with the coach or the coach themselves. Because I think Jack like, did, didn't he? Like, like wasn't well. he with some Jack someone? I mean, some didn't really coaches at all back then. Yeah, I think it was always the same guy. It was very rare because you didn't have generally, as many options. I, I think generally they hooked up with someone, you know, from the club that when they were young and pretty well sort of stuck with them. I suppose they know the ins and outs and their bodies and, you know, it's pretty sort of easy, isn't it? True. Like, like when you look at it and you go, well, I'm pretty sure that we probably can't get any more length out of you or whatever else. We'll just make the rest of you gun better. True. I think it's interesting. No, what do you so think? What do you think? Put some comments down there. Um, that's about five o'clock. He might have been the best golfer in the world then. I think he still is, but again, it's yeah. If it comes down to majors, he's, he's not. If it comes down to yeah, I, he's definitely top two. You, you know, could argue he's number you, one. You can argue all day. Yeah, and this is the thing. You could argue. I think the problem with sport is it comes in the same thing. So, you know, there's two different things. There's the sportsman or sports person you love, and then there's records and everything else above that. Cool. I mean, you do the same thing with, with tennis. And tennis is very easy because they do rate it, rate it on the majors. Yes. But there'll be plenty of people that will go, well, Djokovic, he's not really my favourite. I really love Federer or. But that goes soccer too. Or, well, so it's like, how do you how do you prove who's so, well? Soccer's even harder. That's what I'm getting because at. Because as a team sport, it's you know rugby league's a bit the same. Yeah, but it's okay there's to more, go. There's oh, more to it. You won four premierships. Yeah, because you played. But you didn't. No, you were in the team. But if did. you look at my stats, I might I might have scored more tries and more try assists than you That's ever right. did. That's right. But you happen to be playing in a really good team. That's right. I was right. playing in a team that was average. That's what I mean. There's more to it. So, right? so it's awfully hard. Like I said, individual sports, Joe, you, know, you say Bolt. Yeah. What do you mean? Four gold medals in a row. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's there. Yes. Like, as where team sports is awfully hard. Correct. The argument with, you know, and, and especially on, say, soccer where it's not, like, even cricket's different. Because mm -hmm. at least you get a batting average and wickets taken and That's everything right. else. As where not everyone's in goal, goalkeepers could be the best player in the world. True. They don't score goals. They don't score any goals. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, I mean, they work it out on saves and everything else, but it, 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 you'll constantly go. I mean, oh, soccer, you could, sit here, you could sit there for hours. Would a I mean, save hold more not, weight than a goal? Not, not even. Oh. Or would it be well, the see, same? See, then it depends on the situation of the game. That's what I mean. I mean, if you're winning 1 0. And you do a save. That's what I mean. It's probably worth more than a goal. That, yeah, that's like, what I'm getting at. It's, it's a, but if you're losing 10-0 and you save one, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. 
yeah. there's not much difference between losing 10 nil and 11 nil. Yeah. So it's awfully hard, but people will always have their favourite players. And you know, even if you don't count all the modern players like the Messi's and everyone else, but you go back a few years, I mean, you know, was Pelé or George Best or, do you know what I mean? Like, you, uh, it depends. Yeah. Do you know? And then someone come out and go, oh, Tim Gale. <laughs> yeah. Might or, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, so, so it's awfully hard, and it's not always just judged on sort of goals. And yeah, well, there's certainly more to it, right? Yeah, yeah. I get it. It's interesting. Mm. Yep, as where golf, golf's a bit the same. Do you do you do it on tournaments one or majors one? And tennis would be the same. Do you do it on... Well, the majors have to hold more weight. I, I'm pretty sure that Doc would be pretty close to have won the most tournaments as well as... Tournaments and majors, yeah. And majors, I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know the yeah. stats, if anyone else Fact knows check them. him, quick. But he's been, he's been around for a while yeah. and he's won a hell of a lot. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Because you've got to remember that half the time on the PGA Tour, the field's the same. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I get that at the Masters and, the, and the, the Open and the US Open, there might be a few more internationals. Yeah. Right? But, you know, Overall, generally much, week in... I mean, before they had the split and everything else, Cost. right? But generally, they turn up to a tournament. The, the, the dudes that turned up to the US Open and then turn up to the next tournament, 90% of the field was the same. Yeah. So it's not like you're playing against completely different people. No. So... Yeah, so the talent's no. there regardless. Yeah, so so it's, it's, it's where you rate, I suppose, like I said, do you rate it on tournaments or... It has to be majors. Both. It's both. I mean, the two most majors are Tiger and Jack. But then the two most PGA Tour wins is and two, and two Tiger diff- and two different, Byron Nelson, I think. Two different dudes. Oh, yeah. Like, when, yeah. when you look at it, and I reckon that's why you get such a, a tear between them. Yeah. Where people go, nah, I'm nah, Tiger, Jack, yeah. I'm Jack. Yeah, it's true. Because if they were so much more similar, it would be very, very different. I think then it would be just, oh, he's one of the most majors. But they are very, very different characters. Again, but it, so I, I look like, at it and go, well, Jack's, what, 18, and I don't know how many PGA Tour events, 70-something, I think. Oh, so what, Tiger's right. had, what, 15? And yeah. 83 or 84 PGA Tour events? Yeah, something like that. And some international events. Oh, yeah, of course. But so so did Jack, like right? So, yeah, yeah, well, Jack won the... Or was Jack PGA international? Open. Is it 70-something international or PGA Tour? See, that's that's what I don't know. I think Tiger's got the most PGA Tour wins. I, I think by him and Byron Nelson. I think yeah, they're both yeah. there, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, But Jack yeah. did travel a bit. Jack tra- yes. So I think he won it was, it, was a, it was a different Open time, though. Australian, Australian Open. Open. Yeah, yeah. So they, they travel, and you've got to remember, the travel is probably a bit slower. But then were the fields... So, so there wasn't... But were the fields so I couldn't, deeper? I couldn't fly to... Japan and play tomorrow and come home in three days' time. True. Like you'd, you'd have to go. Oh, the only flight to Japan is today, and I'm going to be a week early, so I'm going to miss out on that other tournament. And yeah, you know, like I said, a, a different time. But oh, look, do you know what? I, I think I probably got the end of Jack's career. Mm. I, I think the dude could certainly play golf. I and look, so, of, so could Norman I, just quietly. I, I got all of. Tigers, yeah, he could certainly play golf. I think you just enjoy watching these people, and that's what you need to look at it like. You know what I mean? Like Palmer was probably the quite sort of it's and Hogan and all these dudes. Really, it's footage and stuff that we see of these people and stories and stuff. But you know, there'll be another whole generation. The kids will all see them, and like I said, the same thing happens with soccer. The new generation of kids will tell you there, there's there's no one ever like Messi, right? Um, can he play? Of course. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. Best ever? Yeah, it's, In the conversation, knows? but see, that's the thing. It's, it's a hard one to just put out there and say the best. But he is for their generation. Of course. Because they've seen him on TV. And but that's where Tiger and Jack have separated themselves. It's like, it's not 100% until you go thirsty. back and show them old footage of, of different soccer players and they go, gee, I'll make them play. Yeah. Like, like, we're even now starting to move away, like, from Harry Kuehl. And, yeah, of and, course. And like, even as Australians, there's a new generation that will come come forward. But you go back and look at old footage, 
Kuehl, Viduka, um, Tim Kale. Mm -hmm. They can play. Of course. Like, and the, the same thing. Australian golf does the same. Correct. I remember when the uh, couple of the big names was uh, Appleby and Allenby. It's true. Mate, they were big, big names. And if you look at it now, we've got the newer generations with the, yeah. you know, William Adam Scott. And, yeah. and Ming Woo Adam Scott's been around forever. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. He, but he's still there. Do you know? Um, Jeff Ogilvy was around, so he him, him he was around that same time yeah. as Alan B. Appleby, Alan B. Appleby, Pampling, Pampling, Parry. They, they were pa Parry, yeah. big names in Australian golf, and the next generation comes, and now we've got Cam Smith, and you know, so uh, and do you know what? In in twenty years' time, oh yeah, correct. Cam will be going. Well, it's time for me to pass the hat to. Billy Smith or whoever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, Billy Richardson. And there'll be a whole new generation of, of, of players. So, but who knows? Who knows? Right. All right. We're done. Dylan, we'll contact you. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, stay tuned for Lakelands and Redcliffe, which we just filmed today. Yep. Anyway, we'll try to get these videos out. Hopefully, we can stay on a roll. Hopefully, the weather's good and we can yep. get out. Thanks, guys. Remember what we said in the comments. Um, fuel prices, electric cars. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, we'll see you next time. See you guys.